Okay, the another video I want to do is AI because I've just unlocked it. It's artificial intelligence. This access uh, grants access to AI training to generate files. You're going to need a lot of science for that. Uh, and I have large language models for text generation and image generation. So let's talk about that. And I need to go to my uh, GPU section that I've got going on over here. So what you want to do is you want to run however you want to set it up, but you're going to need a GPU uh, speed. You're going to need one of these nodes plugged into your AI trainer. And this is all found under the GPU. If we scroll over, we've got AI trainer. Right. It uses this GPU speed and files to create neurons. And then you can do a text generator or whatever you have unlocked or an image generator. OK, you're going to need one of those two things. So right now we're doing text generation. So you need to pull in a file download from someplace. Right, because you need source files and, and in this case we're using text so you're going to have to pull down a text file connection and plug it into your ai trainer so that it can start learning about text files and i grabbed one from way up at the top because i wasn't really using it so we're taking all of the text files coming in here through our text downloader that's connected to the network somewhere we're plugging that down into our AI trainer. Let's scoot it over just a, t a tad. And that can that can be. Let's just delete that. Click, delete, or you can hit the delete key on your keyboard. Right. So we have text files coming in from the net from the network, and your AI trainer is using AI to figure out what's going on. And as you can see, it's going to spit out text neurons. Those text neurons are going to clean up and alter the files coming in. These are just raw, raw files. We didn't do any antivirus. We didn't do checksum. We didn't do redownloading. We haven't done anything to them. These are raw as you can possibly get from the net. So if we go back up and look at them, it's just raw. The first thing you get text downloader. OK, and as you can see with AI, the, the brain of AI, the neurons, take a look at it. It already um, the good ones. Once it's done, it it strips all the viruses out. It does a checksum and it adds the AI tag onto it as well. So AI training, AI text generator will re uh, replace, I was trying to think of the word, it'll replace your checksum. And so you don't have to re-download. It's just going to fix it through AI and it's going to strip out the viruses. So that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of steps that you can replace just by doing AI generation. Now we're going to take that text file output. Let's follow it. It's going all the way back up into our enhancers. I don't need to drop it into folders. I don't need to do anything else. I'm going to plug it right into my enhancer and then my enhancer because I've got those unlocked where I can use multiple enhancers. Uh, and add these add these flags to it. We're going to put these. I'm using a Trojan injector right now. But if you wanted to, you could just straight send these over to the uploader. Right? Say I don't want to do Trojans right now. Let's say I just want to do uh, just basic stuff. There we go. Straight into an uploader, into an auto collector, and we are... We're flying. Got everything going that we need to go. Okay. Where's this go? Oh, I know where it is. So that's how you use your AI. Now I have, uh, it takes a minute to get stuff going, but once you're, once you're, once it builds that file, 
uh it'll fire it off and it's gonna make you a ton of ton of files um we can do that same process with where's gpu with our image generator but what i'm gonna have to do let's do this let's do another ai trainer pull this one up and this one up so we're going to do images here uh this is going to be rough we're going to unplug that and unplug that and unplug that okay so i'm going to take a raw gpu see how slow it's going though and we're going to put another one into our ai trainer for our input files let's do images now that we have them and I'm going to take, uh, we're going to delete this, the checksum, the redownloader, the folder, and the virus. Okay. But we need to, oh, this is getting a messy. We need to connect the downloader. That's all we need. We're going to take the files, the image files. And we're going to plug those image files into our AI trainer. So now we're doing images. We connect our neurons to our image generator. And our output, which is going to be image, virus, scanned, virus clean, checksum skip, and brain, or AI. We're going to plug that right back up to our images uploader. Boink. Connect that to the internet. Give it all some more power. Tons of power. There we go. That easy. Let's expand this just a hair. There we go. Now, it's going to take a long time. It's going to take a while. Because, one, we've reduced our speeds... In fact, let's do this. Let's disconnect that. No, I want one there and we'll grab oh, this one needs to disconnect. This needs to go into our GPU synchronizer. I know it's a hot mess. Uh, GPU synchronizer. Let's give this some gas. There we go. Now it should process faster because it's got three cores coming into it. But it's still going to take some time because it's got a, you know, the large language. You got to feed it a ton of data and then it has to figure out, you got to train it and then it's going to spit that out. So super simple. That's how you use AI to generate new text files, bypass a couple things, right? replace your antivirus and replace your checksum and now we if we come up here i mean this is gonna it's gonna explode at some point with <laughs> a batch file of of data and start making us cash but so there's lots of ways you can do that um if you wanted to uh we could pull all of this stuff uh, i don't like doing that we could shift highlight all of those we could bring all this stuff up here into this line so that we have all of the image training down here you know it's just in one shot eh, that'll work i'll just leave it like it is for a while cool that's super simple that's ai that's how you use ai so look at this it's just Let's, let's do the same thing with our text. Gosh, dang it. Got to be careful. Careful where you're grabbing. We're going to shift click to highlight all of that. Grab a header. Header bar. We're going to bring this right up here. Let's put it right in line. Keep everything nice and smooth. So we can. Uh, we're enhancing these. So we got to keep our synchronizer. But if I wanted to. You don't need to have your enhancers. That's just going to give you more bang for your buck. Fine. Let's bring this over. Shift click. Swing these over. 
click, control C to copy, paste, paste. Now we got two of them, right? So we're gonna have to plug these two in for clock speeds. And we're gonna disconnect that since we don't have any images. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's coming. We're gonna plug these all in. Give us bonus speeds to our images. And where are you coming from? The middle one. So we're gonna grab it from there. Now we got processor speed. Here it comes. I mean, it's big. It's a big file, a big cluster. But once that comes, I'm going to sit and wait. So if you want to skip the rest of the video, feel free to do it. That's, that's how you use AI and set it all up. But I'm going to sit here and wait for this. There's one. I'm not scared. I ain't scared one bit. I'm not scared one bit. So it's going to take a while. Now, uh... The more C, the more GPUs that you have connected to that, uh, the faster it's going to go. But yeah, let's let's start moving some of this stuff around, and then so that's going to be there. This needs to come down. Kind of got a mess going right now. Grab my tokens, come on up. Here we go, it's coming. It's just gonna take a while, but that's fine. This is um, kind of, kind of end game. Uh, I've got AI unlocked, and then I also have overclocking, and then the next thing is data distillation, unlocks the distillator, uh, which distills file data for improved neuron production, and then I'll have to unlock cooling, because all this AI stuff is generating a ton of heat. Oh man, I grabbed the wrong thing. Got to be real careful. You can use the WASD keys on your keyboard to move stuff around. Uh, we can upgrade our clock speeds a bunch to give us some more power as well. But now that now the um, when you get overclocking, you you start generating heat that you gotta you gotta deal with. There we go. It fired off. Look at that. Got a bunch of files. One with nine E's. That's like a billion. If we switch over, turn off. Yep. We got a billion. And bang. There you go. Running it through an enhancer. Run it through another enhancer. Do I have the third one unlocked? I don't know if I do. Improved image generation, improved text. I don't think I have, let's take a look through here. Government sabotage for our upgrades. Optimize, reduce cycles required for crypto. I think I had, yeah. Optimized enhancement, reduces clock cycles required by the enhancer. Reduce clocks as AI trainer by half. I need three optimization points. I don't have that. That's, I want that. <laughs> uh, what else do I, I thought there was something in here. Enhances compression simultaneous. There was, there was something that let me, maybe I already have it. I don't know if I can run it through another enhancer. Let's control C, control V, let's delete one of those. I don't know if I can do this. I can run it through three enhancers. It's gonna be awesome. I can, I got the max upgrade. So now we got three enhancements. And that, so every time you run it through an enhancer, if we click on it and then hit the question mark, it should Courses. There's some bugs in this game. Enhancer. Enhances files using clock speed, adding the enhanced modifier and in increasing its size and quality by two. Okay. So two, four, six. I think that's how that's going to work. I don't know if they stack. So two, 
If we do that twice, that would be four. If we do four twice, that's eight. I'm not exactly sure if that's how it works. But I haven't taken the time. I'm sure I can sit and figure it out. Okay, there's AI. That's how you use AI. Max out your enhancements. Get all that cash. We're making 1.08 AE a second. And that is... Yep, we went from 27 to 29. That's a bigger number. That means more. That's all I know. <laughs> bigger numbers is more. That's all I care about. Now, the next thing I want to do, I want to... I want to upgrade my data labs as much as possible and get that going uh, more because you need a ton of data. We know that we can have another enhancer in here. So let's scoot this all down. Click and drag. Let's scoot it. Let's control C P or V. Let's get this in here. Let's grab it again. Grab it again. Anything we can do to increase. So our science is four with a 14 at the end. Oh, I didn't see what it was doing per second. That's what I needed to look at. It doesn't matter. Research per second. So if we tick that off and tick that off and then come down here, we're going from a, uh, 11 per second at the end to 12 is what it was. So more is better. See, 12. More is better. That's all I know. There you go. There's how to use uh, AI to generate files to help yourself out.